So my name is Gabriel Estrada. I do collages, paint, draw, some sculptures. I'm focusing a lot on collage and paintings right now. You know, my angle with all of this is to pretty much just sustain myself and my family. I don't ever want to do anything that I don't like in the future. I want to be able to, to do what I want to do and make a, a healthy living off of it. And, you know, I hope to one day just get to that point where I can touch people with my art. I was always like that creative kid that was like drawing and like just making weird shit in class. I would always like not do the art assignment, do my own thing. <laughs> so that's like where, it, like I remember it starting. I got serious about it in high school when like prom came around. I was like making little paintings and like selling them for like 15 bucks, you know, like big pieces. And then that's when I was like first started like selling my art. That's also when I first got into painting and collage. Went to college. And then there I had a, it was like um, a class, but it was more like a publications group. Like we made like a, a literary magazine. So I was like appointed art director. And that's when like I first like started getting like really, really serious about the art, trying to figure out like what's good, what isn't, what appeals to people. And then since then, mostly like just doing, just doing it as I go, I guess. Just making art, trying to get to art shows, trying to do designs for people and just, blossomed towards that now. I gotta keep myself responsible to do it. Otherwise, I know that I won't be fulfilled in my life when I'm 60. Like, I wanna be able to look back when I'm older and be like, yeah, like, I did exactly what I wanted to do. I made art, just staying on top of it. Uh, it's easy to just wanna hang out and be lazy all day. There's times where I gotta just tell myself, like, do it, like, you better get up right now. I've learned that it's, like I just learned so much more about myself when I've taken that time and invested it into myself as opposed to going out and hanging out. So this painting right here, this was a final assignment. And what the assignment was, was to take six random photos and take them to class. Cause we were gonna do something with them. So, you know, printed out six photos. I was thinking, oh, we're gonna make something like a piece of art with these photos. So I'm gonna get something I like. So I took him, went to class and he made us throw in a big old pile. And we had to like pick six random images to make a piece of art from. So I was like, damn it. Like, I'm not gonna get anything that I want. I picked out the pieces and I got six random things. I got um, a tree house, like a playground. Um, I got a bird, so that's what like these feathers are. I got a barrel, some roses, but yeah, <laughs> so I just did what I could and I didn't do it. Like, I just always lagged on doing it and you know, finals coming around, it was actually gonna be the next day. I was like, damn it. So I just got to work like at maybe like six in the afternoon and I painted uh, throughout the night up until seven in the morning, took a nap for like 30 minutes and then went to class <laughs> and turned it in <laughs> and it still smelled like paint. <laughs> <laughs> I did this like in a 13 hour sitting. Hosting an art show when I was 19, that was pretty cool. I got in touch with, it was a school and they had a gallery off site. I got in touch with the guy and like set up this art show. Cool, we talked about it, hashed out the details. All right, awesome. And then things were kind of left open-ended. So I tried calling him and like try to like set this thing up so we get a date and like get everything just like sealed and closed and ready to go and one day i kind of just trespassed into the, the school <laughs> uh saw like one of the students that i knew i asked him like yo like where's this guy at he led me to like the theater department which is where he worked he was like oh what are you doing here <laughs> i'm like you know like let, let's talk and then he was like all right students like take notes like this is what you got to do if he's not answering your phone calls you go to where he works <laughs> and so i got went there and then uh, set up the whole art show. People who like retweet it or even like even something as simple as like a comment on my Instagram. Like that's dope. Like that somebody went out of the way and like let me know that they liked it. Um, just like the yeah, the people who enjoy it is what like helped me the most. I don't know if I'd continue to make it if I knew it wasn't affecting anybody. If it was just like not receiving any sort of feedback or you know any of that. I don't know if I'd make it. I want to live off of it. I wanna like be comfortable with it. I wanna be able to take care of like myself and like my future family with it. What, like no matter what it is, even if I'm like an art director for some company or if I like, my goal is like to have like a, a creative firm where like it's just a bunch of makers who make stuff for people. So there's like a good 10% of people that are making really original content that like pushes me back and like 
I'm like, whoa, like, and I want to be one of those persons. Van Gogh mostly because he did like unique art and nobody loved it and nobody appreciated it until he was dead. Like when he was alive, it was crap essentially. Um, and I want to do just that, but I want to be liked in my lifetime.